Hi, my name is Jim Chrisman, and this is another installment of Wiser Tech Tips. The field of medical simulation is very exciting and challenging, but sometimes it can be frustrating as well, especially when there aren't enough funds to get that new piece of technology or that new simulator that would really fill out your simulation center. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how lower cost technology can sometimes help you fill that gap and get what you need without spending the large amount of money. Um, a few months ago, we were approached by our director over at our uh, Children's Hospital Simulation Center. And she was interested in having a piece of equipment that she could take around to any room in the hospital and be able to film simulations, record them on the Lairdall AVS software, and be able to get this equipment over to the room without having an army of people to carry it. And she didn't have a lot of money to spend. So we came up with this. This is our mobile simulation cart. She originally had purchased the cart from an outside vendor, but it was very difficult for people to use as it didn't use the same Lairdall technology that we've all become used to. So we took this cart and modified it using lower cost, pieces of technology that I'm going to show you. And we created something that, although it's not pretty, it fills that need that she had. First thing I'm gonna show you on the cart is the lower shelf here. I've removed the air compressor so that you can actually see a little bit in here. You can see there's not a lot of space, but there's just enough to fit the AVS computer, a link box, and the air compressor. We have power for everything built right into the system here. And this yellow cable connects to a wall plug somewhere and supplies power for the whole cart, everything on it. What we also had when she purchased the cart was that it did come with a laptop. We used this laptop to run the simulator software, which is layered all Sim Baby, Sim Man, whatever else that she might need. This is the monitor for the AVS system, and this is the keyboard and mouse for the AVS system. This is a Logitech keyboard-mouse combination. It's wireless. We chose it mostly because it's small, but it's been very effective. This monitor uh, is the patient monitor, and we have a projector here that we can use for displaying debriefs and so on. We have our projector here. It shows the same image that you would see on the AVS monitor. We use this projector for debriefing so that you can debrief wherever your class happens to be, in a hallway, if it, for that matter, in a room, whatever the case may be, as long as you have a flat surface to project on. And here we have an example of a projector showing some curriculum for during class time. This is just a simple PowerPoint. And uh, as you can see, it, it's a nice way to have a class anywhere that you happen to be. The speaker built in here so that the operator can hear if they're not in the room. And we have headphones here in case they're in a public area and we need to keep it quiet and have the operator still be able to hear. Here on the back and on the side, you can see that what we've done is taken these hooks and all of the connectors that are used for everything that is external to the cart are wrapped up here. And this is what really makes it not pretty, but it also gives us the ability to film simulation at up to 50 feet from this cart. And that was something that she wanted. In this way, we're able to have the cart outside the room, have everything that goes with it inside the room, and make it a more realistic simulation. Inside the cart, we have some other pieces that I'm going to show you now. We have three pieces of technology inside the cart. First thing is an audio buddy amplifier. That allows us to have microphones here that can be heard inside the room via the built-in speakers on this monitor. It also allows us to record sound through the AVS system. The second is just a simple switch. Uh, this allows the AVS system to connect to the P3 
pan tilt zoom camera that I'll show you in a few minutes. And it also allows a connection between this laptop and the AVS system. And that allows the transfer of large files if you have a large simulation to go very quickly. The last thing that we have in there is just a simple splitter. In this case, we have an AB switch. Splitter basically takes the VGA signal and splits it between a source and two end technologies. In this case, it is this monitor for the AVS system and the projector. We have a two camera setup for video recording. This first camera is just a simple straight camera, bought it at monoprice.com. It was a little over $100, and it's got crystal clear image, and it was very inexpensive. We use a Gorilla Pod to mount it. We use that because the legs can bend in a myriad of directions, and it will be steady just about anywhere you want to place it. Our other camera is a pan tilt zoom. We've got this tripod wheel mount, and we especially like this one because with just a simple twist of the hand, you can change angles and everything. Um, we put it on wheels so that it could be pulled along with the cart, and as you can see, it moves very easily. The last thing that we did was we bought snakeskin. Snakeskin is used to wrap up cables, keep them nice and neat, and um, it also helps when you're trying to organize the cables and wrap them or roll them back up again uh, that they don't go all crazy on you. Now for this particular cable, this is what we use to connect to the camera. On it, you have a standard network connection and that plugs in this slot here. That's how the pan tilt zoom camera is controlled. You also have a BNC connection for the video. It goes here power cable that goes here. And this is our room microphone that allows us to record all of the sound that we have during a scenario when we're running any type of simulation. We put this on this camera because we knew that it would always be up and out of the way and we can attach it to the camera or somewhere on the tripod and point it in the direction that we want it to go. In this way, you always have crystal clear sound. Um, all of the stuff that I've showed you today was purchased either at monoprice.com or Amazon. Everything all told was less than a few thousand dollars and it met the needs, although not pretty, it definitely met the needs uh, for a lot less than you would get for going out to a third party and having someone put this together. In addition, all of these items or something that you would have in your own simulation center or likely to have and could be handled by your IT guys. I work in IT, I'm not a video specialist or anything like that and this is all stuff that most people would be fairly comfortable working with if they're in the IT field. And my hope is that in showing you what we've accomplished here that it will encourage you to go out and think about your problems, come up with your own solutions Use the internet and the technology that's available to you to create something for your simulation center that hopefully is going to blow everyone away. Thank you and have a great day.